Ever since becoming the richest person in the world, Elon Musk has often been in the spotlight. And for his parents, siblings, and kids, it is very hard to hide away from all of it. That's why, when his family members has anything in public, they will end up in everyone's Twitter feed, morning newspapers, and pretty much on every daily show. Recently, Elon's biological dad, Errol Musk, got himself and Elon some extra spotlight, despite Elon's already being involved in so many public lawsuits these days. Engineer, pilot, and sailor Errol Musk probably passed some of these genes to his son, a world icon. Despite this, Elon has characterized his father as evil. So, his dad responded after some time by calling out Elon Musk for being obese and downplaying his business achievements. But is there anything we don't know about them yet? Errol was born in Pretoria, South Africa, to a British mother and an army sergeant father. Their family was known for their intelligence at the time. Elon's mother, May, grew up in the same area and even attended the local high school. May had a supermodel beauty, which Errol was drawn to, leading to their relationship. May went on to become a well-known supermodel who has worked with some of the world's most prestigious magazines, including Vogue and Elle. Errol and May went on with their studies, where they continued dating. Their relationship in the university, however, was on and off. While in university, Errol, without giving up, pursued May to marry him, according to May, as per Elon Musk's biographer. In the biography, she said, he just never stopped proposing. As they say, history repeats itself, like father, like son. Elon, too, pursued his wife, Justine, while they were in university, together in Canada. In Elon's biography, Justine says, You always knew it was Elon, because the phone would never stop ringing. The man does not take no for an answer. You can't blow him off. I do think of him as the Terminator. He locks his gaze to something and says, It shall be mine. Bit by bit, he won me over. Later on, May and Errol tied the knot. Nine months after this happened, Elon came to the world due to this union. The two knew their son was exceptional at a very young age. As Errol told African radio station 702's The Money Show was Bruce Whitfield. He's always been a very deep thinker. For example, when he was very small, he would ask me, where is the whole world? I'm talking about when he was three or four. And these sorts of questions made me realize he is a little different. Elon has lived comfortably with his family since his father had a very successful career. Elon notes that his father has a high IQ as a talented mechanical and electrical engineer. As time went on, Elon got a younger brother, Kimball. Errol, their father, often took the two to his engineering job sites, where Elon gained some of his interests. They learned how to lay bricks, install plumbing, and put in electrical wiring in the sites. Elon's father exposed him to computers when he was still young. Elon requested that his father take him to lessons where he could learn how to operate the new computers that had just been released when he turned 11. And despite his being too young to attend these kind of sessions, Elon's father used his influence to gain Elon a position at the University of Witwatersrand in Johannesburg. In the interview with The Money Show in Radio 702, Errol recounts, Anyway, he went, and I left him there, took Kimball, and I went off to get a hamburger. And I came back. It was a three-hour long thing at which, and we came back, and everyone came out, and no Elon. And we waited and waited, and finally, I went into the chili halls of which, and found this sort of sloping theater, lecture hall rather. And there was Elon, with his jacket and tie off and his sleeves rolled up, and his long grey flannels, four feet high, talking to all these blokes from England. And when I walked up to them, the one who, some professor, he didn't even bother to introduce himself, he just said to me, this boy has to have one of these computers. Anyway, we got him one of the computers, and I got it at a discount. Thank God. Elon took advantage of the fact that he had been given a computer, and taught himself to program. He turned out to be an absolute genius. Elon earned an a on an aptitude exam for programming and computer operation while being a student at the University of Pretoria. Elon was asked to repeat the exam since the institution had never seen such a high level of achievement before. 
Even though Elon seems to have had a joyful upbringing, he has come out to call it misery due to his father, Errol. May and Errol divorced in 1979 because of an abusive relationship when Elon was only eight years old. May became a single mother as a result of the breakup. She said that if one of the kids spilled milk, she would weep because she wouldn't purchase additional milk that day. She worked many jobs to support her children, bought old clothing, and made affordable and healthy meals for them, such as bean stews. Some years after May and Errol divorced, Elon felt sorry for his father for living alone and decided to move in with him so that he would keep him company. Soon this proved a decision that he would badly regret making. Elon told Rolling Stone, He was such a terrible human being. You have no idea. My dad will have a carefully thought out plan of evil. He will plan evil. Almost every crime you can think of, he has done. Almost every evil thing you could think of, he has done. Elon Musk never delved into the specifics of what his father did. However, it's known that Errol shot and killed three intruders into his home at one time and was acquitted of all charges based on self-defense. Errol also has a kid from a previous marriage with his stepdaughter. Errol defended himself by claiming that his stepdaughter came to him for consolation after breaking up with her boyfriend. The kid was conceived in the heat of the moment. Errol has also gone public regarding Elon's portrayal of him in response to Elon's claims. Errol told the UK's Daily Mail, Elon needs to grow up. He needs to get over himself. I'm not going to hit back. I'm going to wait until he comes to his senses. He's having a tantrum like a spoiled child. When Elon went to live with his father after the divorce, Errol claimed he was making a lot of money from emerald mining. Business Insider even claimed that Errol owned half of an emerald mine in Zambia. In another business article, Errol said, We had so much money, we couldn't even close our safe. On the other hand, Elon revealed the truth and said that his father did not own any mines. Elon tweeted that he had to earn his way through college, racking up $100,000 in student debt, and that his first firm, Zip2, couldn't afford a second computer. He went on to say that he only had $2,000 in his pocket when he left South Africa for North America. All of this, he said, was to demonstrate that they did not own emerald mines. Elon just had one aim in mind, to get to the United States. To do so, he first traveled to Canada, where his mother was born. Elon moved to Canada at the age of 17 to live with his cousin and work on a farm in Saskatchewan. Elon was able to find a way that got him to Toronto. He was able to secure passports for his mother and siblings while he was there. According to me, the family resided in a rent-controlled apartment in Toronto, where Elon slept on the sofa. Despite Elon's accomplishments at this age, his father never wished him good luck. He even warned Elon that he was an idiot and would be back in South Africa in three months. Since then, that idiot has become a symbol of hope for millions of people worldwide and is regarded as humanity's savior. Tesla's efforts to speed the world's shift to renewable energy, as well as his business SpaceX's attempt to conquer Mars, may derive from his childhood suffering, and there is no doubt that Elon Musk deserves all of his achievements in life. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.